Welcome back everybody to another real estate related video. This property here is one of my high-end rentals that I had tenants living in here for about four years. I purchased it back in 2015, my first rental ever. Um, check out how beautiful this rental is guys. 10 foot ceilings, pot lights, hardwood, gas fireplace. Um, just a beautiful rental all around. Now. These people living in here were a nice family. We had a bunch of issues, but in the end, everything worked out pretty good, um, except for, you know, some some decent damage here. The hardwood floors, they look great in this video, but there is quite a bit of scratch damage on them, which I guess is expected over time. This feature wall is one of my favorite parts. Um, the tenants, as you can see, they tried to paint it, that spot above the uh, fireplace there, but you know, they painted over nicks and damage and stuff like that, and it just does not look good anymore. So um, I'm actually having the place repainted right now. That's why you saw the white kind of on the top of that fireplace. Um, walls have just been redone, which actually look great. I love this light gray color. I wish I showed you guys earlier, but um, I didn't have a chance to record. So there's the kitchen. The backyard here. Now this is interesting. I actually gave the owners, or sorry, the renters an option to purchase the house. So they did a little bit of work and they left some goodies here too. <laughs> um, this gas, or sorry, this electric smoker here, it's kind of leaking out the bottom. It stained the deck. They said they were going to have somebody come and pick this thing up. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's disgusting. So you know, hopefully they get that out of there soon. Now, what I was talking about goodies is that this wooden deck down here you're seeing, they actually built that themselves out of their own pocket. They didn't ask me for money, so that's awesome, as well as that planter there. Um, they left the gas barbecue too, so um, we'll see if they pick that up or not. Hopefully they do. I don't like inheriting tenants junk, like this chair that they left me, but <laughs> that chair has actually been going to good use. I've been sitting on it a lot. Uh, you know, getting some break time in. One th part that I didn't like is the damage they caused on these uh, plastic or vinyl doors. They just screwed right into them. So that's a big no-no. Um, really wish they didn't do that, but you never know what tenants are gonna do in your house. These stairs here, I think, are my favorite part and the see-through railing. Um, I love the exposed look, guys. It just looks so cool. You don't see this in many houses. So that, that's one of my favorite features. It does need to be repainted, but you know, I'm just gonna leave it for now. The floors are super dusty because the painter's been sanding the walls and stuff. These walls up here have, all, have also been painted. Um, as you can see, the damage on the railing there, that's just regular wear and tear though, right? Um, the walls up here were in terrible condition. It looked like they were playing friggin', I don't even know, ball hockey in the hallways. And now we start getting into the majority of the damage. So this is what happens, guys, when you allow your tenants to have pets, specifically cats, and you have carpets. So the cats just went to town on this thing. You know, I don't know what the hell they were doing. They weren't feeding the cats or something. They got hungry and decided they wanted to eat my carpet. Um, you can also kind of see in this video that there's just staining all over the carpet. So... I don't know what exactly they were doing up here. They were eating in their bedroom or something, but you know, that's disappointing. Now I have to replace the carpet. It's gonna cost me a couple grand. Um, here's the master bath, guys. Not too much damage in here. It was more so just wall patches I needed to take care of. Um, regular wear and tear type stuff. Nothing too concerning. You know, a couple burnt out lights and stuff like that. You know, very nice. I love all the fixtures and, you know, a fairly modern type build. This house is about 10 years old, so fairly new house. Built-in closets. Everything was still in great shape there. We uh, we got the second bath here. Same type of finishings, pretty modern. Now, they did manage to rip the toilet paper holder <clears throat> or and the towel bar right out of the wall. So... That will also need to be patched and painted. As you can see here, they just, I don't know. <laughs> They're having a tough time with the toilet and needed something to grab onto. 
Here, they also took the filter out of the top, so now it's just spraying out like a, you know, <laughs> like a fire hose. Um, so, and I can't find that filter anywhere that goes into the top. So I either need to leave it like that, which is, you know, creates a huge mess. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Left me a nice, beautiful shower curtain. It says Paris on it. Thank you very much. I love the gesture. I'll leave it for my next tenant. And we get into the second bedrooms, guys. So here we are. This carpet here, also you can see some staining throughout. Uh, they had some wild kids living in this property. I don't know what the hell they were doing. But um, yeah, this carpet has definitely got to be ripped out, replaced. So, you know, all three bedrooms are going to be um, replaced, which is unfortunate. But that's why people are moving away from carpet these days and putting vinyl plank flooring because it's basically bulletproof and um, a lot cheaper on tenant turnover. When, you know, every time a tenant turns over, if you got to replace the carpet, it's going to cost you a lot of money, right? So. And then we get into the door damage here. Sloppy patch job. No clue what these guys are doing, but just completely neglecting everything. Like you can, you can imagine, guys, that if the doors are in this condition, um, what the walls were like prior to patching and uh, and painting them, right? That the walls were just terrible. Um, so this room here is by far the worst. As you'll see, the carpet is the most stained. The the door, oh my god! Like I, I don't know if you guys can see, but there was just major patches in this door. Somebody was like just putting their fists right through it. Um, and there there's the stains on the carpets, guys. I don't know what they were doing in this. I had tried to get it steam clean before, and nothing came out. Uh, once again, the back of this door is just destroyed as well you'll get a little close up here all these pinholes it's like they were using it as a dartboard or something just whipping darts or putting pins in it i have no idea but just completely neglecting this house guys okay this is where things start to get interesting so i originally had given these renters an option to purchase the property in 2015 so their full intentions they told me were to purchase this property so they actually took it upon themselves to do some improvements around the house like you guys saw that um the back deck that they did um you know they, they tried to patch up a couple walls but by far the most interesting guys was this down here so when i had given them the house it was a unfinished basement and please excuse me here i'm trying to get the lights on it i couldn't figure out how exactly they wired this but one switch is tied to the other so um, had a tough time getting the lights on anyways this place was completely unfinished and this is how I pretty much got it um, it wasn't primed white like it is now I just had my painter do that but it was drywalled um, it was framed and drywalled and they put this tile in there and so in here they also framed in this washroom with a vanity um, they did not put a shower in there, which I've been left to do now. Um, but there is a drain in the floor and, you know, water supply. And they've got this Ikea vanity. I got to put a new ceiling in here. But, you know, some recessed pot lights and a vent. And, you know, we got the toilet. A little bag of insulation that they left me as well, which is awesome. Now, these are the original um, washer and dryer that I left. They framed a bedroom back here. Um, there's the electrical panel. <laughs> they they hung up that painting which they gave me. You know, an, another um, tenant gift that people just decide to leave behind and things that they don't want. You know, they're just oh, you can have it now. Very common thing on tenant turnover. Um, but yeah, guys, they left me the basement in this condition. So very interesting. Um, you know, for all the damage that was done throughout the rest of the property, it kind of makes up for it, you know, because they, they finished part of the basement. I'd say about 70% and I got another 30% left to go, right? So so that is definitely the biggest bonus. Very rare for something like that to happen. But I, I want to say that I'm kind of even now with all the other repairs I got to do and whatnot, um, if not even coming out 
on top. All right, so here I am obviously trying to repair this disaster of a door, um, you know, just patching up that hole and with some spray foam and all the other pinholes that they play darts with. And I'm really trying to do this because it costs about $60 a door, as I was saying. And then plus I got to drill the hole for the hardware and the hinges. And I'm not the type of guy that wants to get into trying to hang these doors and whatnot. So I think that the best, easiest scenario for me and the cheapest is to try to do a repair like this. So we'll see you guys. I'm going to sand it once it's all dry. You guys will see in the next video. Um, I had to let everything dry. So I didn't get everything captured in this one day, but I'm going to sand it and try to paint it and we will see what happens. Um, I came back and kind of touched up his yellow patch there and you know the door patch. So we'll see what happens here, guys. Now this is super common in rental properties. I see this all the time. What tenants will do is as soon as the battery backup on the uh, smoke detector dies, the smoke detector starts making noise and instead of replacing the battery or calling me, they just rip it out of the ceiling and it never gets put back. So it's super important guys to be doing quarterly inspections, uh, to be checking things like this for their safety, your safety, you know, in terms of risk. Um, so yeah, this is me just kind of replacing it. I didn't have a ladder uh, and I wanted to get this thing in. So I just took my chance and stood on this little crate, figured I'd record it in case uh, I made a fool of, out of myself, but it looks like I made it out all right. Okay guys, I'm about to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of my high-end rental to see what kind of damage tenants do or can do on a high-end rental. Um, now this is, I would say, average wear and tear. It was a little bit rough, but as you saw, they did some improvements like the basement, which was awesome. If you guys like this type of video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel to see more of my real estate investing journey. And until next time, guys, take care. Thank you so much.